So today we are over here in Grundy County and we're going to what I would call is an off the beaten path cave. We're ba way back here in a cove. We have permission from the landowner to be here. And we're gonna go check out this cave that's about a thousand feet long. It has two vertical drops in it. I believe the deepest is about 60 feet. So come along with us today as we go and explore this off the beaten path cave that is up in this cove here behind me and check it out and see what we find. If you like my content, like and subscribe for more outdoor recreation here in what we call the Tag Region, which is short for Tennessee, Alabama, and Georgia. So join us here today in Tennessee for this off the beaten path cave trip. Got two ropes today. Got to watch out for those. This is a little newt. Oh, I see steam blowing out of that thing. Oh, I do too. So here's the entrance of the cave that we're going to go in today. <laughs> well, I've actually been there. It's five foot wide by one foot it's a climb down entrance oh yeah cave suit oh wow feel that air and now you can see the air it's a lot of air coming out of that hole very warm so there's a waterfall up here about a hundred feet from the entrance to the cave where all of this water is sinking down into the cave and probably coming out in a dome room inside. So we'll see if we can figure that out when we get in there. Oh, it looks like it takes a lot of water. Yeah, there's a hole right there. Oh, no. You know, it looks like a downdraft. They're going to throw a rock in there to see if they can hear how far it goes. They said it was tight, so I gotta get this right. So we're gearing up outside of the cave because it's a climb down entrance to the first pit, which is 41 feet. Okay, that was the part that sounded the worst, and it was the easiest. <laughs> you could kind of sit in the middle and we can pass stuff. First Sounds. rope. I'm gonna pass ropes and then we'll pass the pat heralds. I'm not worried about that. Okay. I'm worried about that. Next drop. Oh. 
Get it's it. It's a downy kind of pit. It's it like downy in here. See, when it's small, you can see. So that's the hole we just came in. It's kind of drippy in here. So we've got natural rigging going on. Where's the pit? Right there. Kind of underneath that little. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought, I'm sorry, I thought it was down under. Okay. Mm -hmm. How's this pit look like? Really without needing any aid for about eight feet, and then there's a little window to go through. Cool. I did figure eight's waiting for you guys. I was like, you better give me something to do. I was going to say, every time we're going around that way. Save the beaner. Yeah. <laughs> I got lots of beaners on me. So. Well, I have a beaner right here. <clears throat> I like this pack. Oh, look at I need to get choked. I need How to... does that look? Right where they rigged in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It looks like people have been rigging there. So this is a 41-foot pit. I hope I dropped it down the right hole. Is there another? That hole over there looks a little too small. That's the one we need to make. Cindy, I'm probably going to ask you to hand me that rope pad. Okay. Seems like it. I got, there's a little ledge right down here I can stand on. Do you want it opened or just hand it to you? Let me just wait and get in here and see. Just pat it. Yeah. Now I'm gonna get right here and then I'll have you hand me the open that down because this is this is a little tight right here. Yep. Uh, or it's not so much tight as it is, as it is awkward. Oh, yeah, it's very ledgy. Okay, on rope. So that is where we just rappelled down from, and Jason is getting on rope up there. This is a 41 foot drop. You can see his feet coming over the edge right there. Thank you. 
So we've had to take our vertical gear off, put it in our packs to fit through this next squeeze. Do you want me to hand that to you once you get down in there, Cindy? Yeah, I think to try to make that bigger. So we have a Harold has a rock hammer. Doing a little rock modification. Gonna see if Jason can get through here now. Hopefully so. I just don't know about my chest. Well, my hips are through. Oh, man. No. Do it. It's really tight. Looks like that's about to break off. Got it. You got that rock off? Yes. Determined. You think you can fit now? Way bigger. Ow. I'm good. Talk about persistence. I'm, good. I'm gonna pass you a pack, okay? So that's where we just squeezed through right there. And you climb down here and then there's a crawl. 
a 20 foot long crawl that's supposed to go into a room, but it's our next challenge. It's the thing about these rarely visited caves. You never know what you're gonna get into really. So this crawlway was originally dug out by cavers 35 years ago, back in 1988. And nobody's probably been here since. I doubt it. I doubt it. <laughs> it's Dude. such a far out cave. Original Rarely visited. Uh -oh. He says, uh-oh. Yeah, that's, that's the part that I hammered for a while. That's really Can it be done? Dug? Well, how was it? Tell us. <laughs> you dirty boy. <laughs> when in doubt, blow it out. Got too tight for you? Yeah. It's that one spot right there. It actually looks like it gets tighter. Go check it out. <sighs> She wants to go through there. I know she does. She's like, she wants to skip all that. Girl, what you doing? Go to the right. She went, she went right under. So Cindy made it through. So I just made it through that crawl. There's Jason through that little window up there. This is the next part of the passage. The next uh, challenge is... This one's called a keyhole. You can hear a lot of water in there. At some point, that just because it goes, it opens here. Just... Appealing thing. Everything's poking you. Cindy's going to check it. It's not quite big enough. 
So that's really cool how that formed there. There's domes with the water. Probably the water on the surface that we saw, they're coming into the domes. Mm -hmm. I'm good with it, except for I just don't think I can turn around. They're not all big and beautiful and walking passage. Sometimes uh, you gotta... It's down there. We just ain't got to it yet. <laughs> We've decided we've made it as far as we can go today. I was trying to stay the right to stay on the little drippy dippies. Yeah. I want to throw the high to fly pass over that, over all this, and just drop 70 foot down into the main passage. That new light lighten it up. Nice and pretty. Awesome. Kelly, how was it? Tight. <laughs> Jason's going to go ahead and climb back up because we're calling it for the day. Here comes Harold through this passage that I just came through. Getting it, babe. You're getting it. So Cindy is crawling out this tight spot. We're going to pass some packs and ropes up to her. Here comes a rope. Wow, that crawl looks nice now. Holy cow. It really does. It's like a straight highway. Come on through the tight spot. It's a girl! It's a girl! It's huge! I know! I'm gonna bring my pack with me! I made it borehole! <laughs> well, you helped me too. But I definitely made it a lot bigger. <laughs> I didn't have to exhale. You did on the way in though, right? Yep. I didn't have to exhale either. I'd go back through that over and over again. Just that crawl sucks back there. This cave's uh, been kind of tight today. 
Nick, no varmint. <laughs> Probably just depends if the moon is waxing or waning. <laughs> oh, yeah, we should have checked that. Here, hand me a, hand me a something. I know, so I need to turn it around. Here. So now we get to put our vertical gear back on and climb back up this 41 foot here. So check this out. These are little springtails living in this little pool of water right here. They don't want to move now that I'm shining light on them. Oh look there's a cave spider too right there. Wow check out that cave spider. He's coming down to the water. He's gonna get him an isopod. Wouldn't that be really cool? So they're not moving. No. I think they know that spider's there. Yeah, that's cool. That's probably what he eats. Yeah. There's more of them right here in this little pool. You can see them moving right there. It's pretty cool. Very, very tiny. There's some more. Yeah, I got did some serious swearing. Right. <clears throat> so there goes Jason. Climbing back out of this 41 foot pit. Good cow. I don't walk underneath you, y'all. That's pretty cool. He's all going back to his little hiding spot in the crevice. Okay, guys, get near the top here. Okay. Looks nasty, didn't I? Nasty, didn't I? So I just climbed up this drop. This is the 41 foot pit. Harold's gonna come next and then our entrance is just right over there. So this cave, we knew we might not be able to get all the way to the bottom. There's some pretty tight passages. So anyways, you win some, you lose some. They're not always big, beautiful open caves. And you don't know till you go to it what it's really going to be like.
okay, off rope. It's on the pad. So that's the drop where we just came out, just to show you. And there's the entrance right there, so it's pretty close. This is Kelly coming out of the rift. Slime Fest 2023 <laughs> Slime Fest, baby. So there you have it. We just came out of this cave right here. Uh, just to show you, not all caves are big, beautiful walking passage. Sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. This one, uh, we couldn't make it as far as we had hoped to today. It was just a little bit different um, than what we were expecting it to be. So maybe we'll come back to it and check it out another time. I don't know. There's over 11,000 caves here in Tennessee, so there's plenty more to choose from for the next trip. If you like my content, like and subscribe for more outdoor recreation here in the heart of TAG, which is short for Tennessee, Alabama, and Georgia. Oh, there you, now you can see the steam coming out of that hole. Yeah. Look at all that air, all that steam blowing out of that hole. Cool. Throw it all in there. Like that. You got plenty of room in that pack. Look at that, it's just a bottomless hole in a, of a pack. <laughs> And there's the vehicle.